Welcome to the Toyota Game Recap. That man, Chris Paul, future Hall of Famer. He was the star of the show tonight. 21 points. He had eight in the fourth quarter, including that big shot to kind of seal the deal. And it turned out to be close, but no cigar for the Denver Nuggets. Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Marlowe with Scott Hastings. The big story tonight, I thought, was the foul trouble that Nikola Jokic got in. Uh, at the start of the third quarter, he picked up three quick fouls, yeah. and then the Suns able to glance out to a 16-point lead, and it, it was a lead that, uh, that that held up in the end. Yeah, it took a 10-point lead to a 16-point lead, mm -hmm. and they were kind of uphill. And then remember, they brought him back in with two minutes to go, or three minutes to go. He played a minute and got his yep. fifth foul. So, yeah, it was an uphill battle when it came to Kola Yogas, but you know, some, sometimes that happens. People got to step up. Well, Jamal Murray did step up. Jamal had 31 points, and he looked like the old Jamal, the Jamal in the bubble. And uh, the Nuggets really rode his coattails to actually take the lead late by one. Yeah, and, and listen, he, he started to make some plays. He got back, and we talked about this in the pregame show. The good, the good Murray is the aggressive Murray, and I thought he started looking for his stuff. And listen, that, there's going to be times he's going to take shots. You're going to go, come on, dog, what, what are you doing? One more extra pass. Uh, what are you doing challenging a big guy? But he makes so many tough shots. In fact, I, I, I bet if there's a stat of, as far as the, the number one yeah. in the league is making tough shots, it's got to be Jamal Murray. B very special tonight. Uh, good start of the game at 14 in that first quarter. Uh, kind of announced he was going to be here. Yeah, he gets the season high 31. He makes 12 of 22. Uh, good numbers for Jamal Murray. And let's hope he plays that well the rest of the season. But the big star tonight, quite frankly, was Chris Paul. There's a reason why uh, the Suns traded four players for him and a number one draft pick. They needed a closer. They need a calming influence, and they have one. And, and, and to pick up the contract that he had. I mean, that's always going to be out there, well, there as well. Go. And and absolutely, three guys in Phoenix with 20-plus uh, points. He had 21. Eight of them, though, in a, in a fourth quarter where Phoenix only scored 17 or 19 anyway. Uh, and, and really just two monster shots late. Uh, made all of his free throws, by the way, and those all came in the last minute of the game. Or in the fourth quarter, he, he was pretty spectacular. He's just, he's just so good with the basketball. And, and to take a, a young team and he even gets flat tires and doesn't even get totally angry at his players. But he, he's going to take this young, talented team. We've always thought Phoenix was talented. And he's going to teach them how to be pros. And, and that's going to be a scary thing uh, for the rest of this league, what, they, what they've got cooking down there. Well. Michael Porter Jr. could not play because of protocols. Jamichael Green played his first game as a Denver Nugget, and I thought he looked pretty good. Looked solid off the bench to, to, and, and played well. The only struggle with the bench, and you and I were just absolutely shocked, every starter was was even or plus on the plus-minus. Yeah, like the plus-minus. Every bench, yeah. you know, even though they felt like they played better, they outscored Phoenix, they were all in the negative. Yeah. And they got to figure out, and that's what these first 18 games are kind of for, yeah. figure out who, who these rotations are and who you're, who you're going to go at with the last, you know, three quarters of the season. All right. Michael Malone said it best. Uh, the team's not playing very well right now. They're one and four, but they have another game. And that's the great thing about the NBA. There's always another game. It's Sunday against uh, a Minnesota Timberwolves team that's uh, lost a couple of their big players. I don't think Towns is going to play, but uh, they're going to have some guys that will want to play. And the Nuggets will look to get the win. Our coverage begins at Sunday at 4 o'clock. Hope you plan to join us.